FedEx, the other big story down in the pre-market. Company poses a quarterly miss, cuts full-year guidance due to increasing costs. These trade tensions pressuring the global economy, this drop in business from Amazon. Fred Smith weighed in on U.S. and China trade policy on the earnings call last night. There is no company and no person that has been more vocal in our opposition to the trade policies that we are pursuing. Now, to be fair, I think it's not just the U.S. I think China is also pursuing bad trade policies. People have been posting charts for a while now, global trade and FedEx stock. It's not encouraging. No, it's worse since they're talking about uh, global trade volumes decline year over year, which is the first decline since 2009, uh, bonehead pal, I mean, uh, Chairman Powell. Uh, then there's also Fred Smith at a certain point just says, look, the country, everybody's whistling past the graveyard about the U.S. consumer and the U.S. economy versus what's going on globally, ba basically implying that we we're going to import that slowdown, particularly industrial. I know I was listening to uh, Stevie Leesman. Calls me Jimmy. Sure. Like my mom. Go with Steve. Like my mom. I was listening to little Stevie, and he was saying, you know what? Uh, there's no real reason to, to uh, cut. Uh, well, if you read Fred, Fred Smith, a, a top flight economist, when but we had Kudlow and Kramer, Larry Kudlow was the chief economic advisor, we would put Fred on all the time. And this is the most dispiriting call about the economy that I've heard in a very long time. You know, it's interesting, guys, because 24 hours ago, we were talking about Randall Stevenson presenting at the Goldman Sachs conference not far from here. Yes. And we focused on all the things having to do with AT&T. Right. But his most interesting comments, actually, and I had a chance now to go back and read them, are very similar to what Mr. Smith is talking about. He said, A, at 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 t the biggest thing he ever follows is business investments, the number one indicator right. they watch, uh, and it's flashing yellow. Not red, but yellow. And you start trying to get your head around what's going on. This is where you can't leave China out of this conversation, because whether it's China or whether it's the USMC, the Mexico Trade Agreement, I mean, just U.S. business is so dependent upon exports and trade. And Mr. Stevenson went on to say it shouldn't surprise anybody. Business investments start slowing down. That's exactly what we're seeing. He's hopeful as they get into election season, they'll get more motivation to get something done. But definitely slowing down, and you can't have that kind of slowdown in business investment and not find its way into the consumer. Largest, ultimately. largest, phone, one of the largest phone companies. Oh, no, AT&T has the great largest, insight into uh, the large, enterprise, Largest right? freight forwarder, yep. uh, with millions of pieces every day in the United States. I mean, I would, versus the commerce figures? I mean, these, these eight, Stevenson is, for better or worse, someone who really... Can have a view. You no, know, I mean he's got a view because he sees the numbers. Right. Well, and, and, Fred, Fred Smith, I mean, and Fred Smith is echoing, if not actually, uh, yeah, does more he than echoing? He knows how many pieces of FedEx went out yesterday and the day before. Now he's questioned, and, and they're very. There's a rebellion on the call because 900 million dollar miss. How can you keep forecasting wrong? When is Europe going to be integrated? How could you be so wrong about China? I mean, the, the, to their me, guidance is is infamously wrong. Inf the, it's inf been yeah. that way for years. I know. Actually, someone said that you've been wrong for so many different quarters. I would come back. I, I am. I am a Fred Smith apologist. I mean, yes, about the reduction in guidance. This is from Christian Weatherby at City. Well, let me tell you, he talks about how you've been so wrong about it. Not only director. Let me tell you something, Christian Weatherby at City. You don't want to be Fred Smith. He's got the hardest job in the world. Can you imagine? He's reading and says, well, hold on, maybe we have a deal with China. Well, let's just keep those. Oh, no, there's no deal with China. Let's put those back. Hey, could be a deal with China. Let's put them. I, I don't envy him. Sister, mother, sister, mother. Although others say, Jim, you know, we just had the biggest um, supply shock in oil we've had in years, and stocks did absolutely nothing. And it's funny because they're not counting on a global recession. No, and Fred addresses. Listen, it's not about it's not about fuel. I like Fred so much. I mean, I didn't like the fact that he said that Amazon was only 1.3 percent in the beginning at the end of January, and then we find out that 1.3 percent was incredibly lucrative. But then the amount of money he had to pour in to get the Amazon ass is hard. It's very good, interesting. In, uh, Really interesting insight about Amazon, but when I view these, I just say e-commerce is growing so fast. Let's throw Adobe in. It's growing so fast, but there's now getting a lot of competition in e-commerce. I think Adobe, which did uh, have a dispiriting couple of lines, but not all, and they beat the quarter. I think that underlying tension there is maybe Salesforce going against them. So we're now suddenly seeing boom, boom, boom everywhere. FedEx, UPS, even the, oh, the comes Fred Smith. Listen, we got to worry about UPS. We got to worry about the United States Postal Office. We got to worry about DHL. We got to worry about Amazon. I mean, I was worried. At the end of it, I was worried. He got me very worried. He got you worried? Yes. If, I, I was, I, I, David, be afraid. Be very afraid. 